Hey guys, it's Allegra with Moonwater and Lightning Studios, and today we are going to etch some glasses. So stay tuned. <laughs> So if you've ever seen people customize glassware and you are curious about doing it, this is one way. So we're going to use Armor Etch, uh, etching glass cream. I picked these up from the store, uh, just your plain glassware, nothing fancy. And we're going to cut a stencil using a Cricut and Aura Mask, which is a stencil material, but you can also use adhesive vinyl, uh, I have. Um, and we're going to be using Design Space software to make our design. Okay guys, so we are going, I'm going to be doing two different glasses. And so the first design is something I've previously made, um, this snowflake, was already on a glass that I made for a Christmas present and the person I gave it to accidentally broke it so I'm going to make them another one um, so we're we are going to do this and then the second design I am going to make for myself and we're going to hmm, I don't want it too big, so let's do two and a half. Uh, 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 let's adjust the letter spacing. And yes, I like that. Okay, so mm, actually for these round pieces, you don't want it to be too much so let's do 3.75 in the width okay that makes me happier uh, let's save good practice to save after you make a change and now we are going to make it and cut out now we do not have to mirror these images they're going to go straight on the glass as is so make sure it's all good okay since we are going to cut this from the same material I'm actually going to move both of these to the same mat just because all right and that's it we're going to cut our stencil out and then I'll show you how to add the etching cream. Okay guys, so we have our two cuts ready to use and I'm going to trim these down and we're going to weed them really quick. Now with stencils, you want where you would typically weed out all the outside space around, you would weed the outside space around the image. Since we're trying to get this image on the glass, that's what we're actually going to pull out. going to put this on the glass and the same with this one we're going to take out the letters and be sure to leave the inside of the letters so like the inside of the O and the E you want to make sure you get now, you also need a carrier sheet for this, so I will be right back. Let me grab. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. So, I use just matte contact paper. Um, 
I feel like I've had the best results with it. There's multiple brands. Cricut brand seems too sticky to me. So Cricut brand seems a little too sticky for me and I struggle to use it. And you can get contact paper everywhere. So I'm going to lay this down and rub over it. We wanna make sure to pick up the little pieces and then we're going to peel off the back like so. And then we'll take our glass Lay it down and position. Mm -hmm. And it's really just a matter of preference where you want the words to go. If you want it up high. Most important thing is not to have it sloping. Now, once you get the stencil on, you can pull your contact paper off and take a minute to make sure all the air bubbles are out because especially around the edge because your etching cream can creep in to any air bubble and so you won't end up with this outline you'll end up with this and a line shooting off to the side so this is one of, well, this is an easy process. Um, the biggest trouble I had with these is not knowing that. And then you have basically a ruined design. So make sure all your bubbles are out and your stencil is firmly placed around the design. We're gonna go ahead and do the second one the exact same way. You just put your carrier sheet down, the contact paper, peel the back. And you want to try to stick with simple designs with this. The more elements your design has, the easier it is to, during the etching process, somehow mess things up. These snowflakes in particular were beautiful when done right, but I had a lot of fails with this. So it's really a trial and error. And the one thing that I ran into the most was not having my stencil laid down perfectly. So see, there's a little bubble right there at the point. But that actually came out pretty well. All right, so now it's time to apply the etching cream. And I like to use just a little paintbrush. You are going to want to get something, if you're doing glasses, to hold it like this. You can't just leave it here, it'll tip. And then, you know, you could end up with your etching cream upside down, so. And what is the time frame? The longer you leave this stuff on, the better the etch, the better the outcome. So we're going to put it on and let it sit. But you notice how I'm just patting it on and getting it good and thick. You don't want to have it thin in one place and thick in another. So I try to make sure to put a thick layer all over the place, the whole design. Make sure you don't get this on your skin. If you're prone to getting things on your hands 
wear gloves. I'm prone to getting things on my hands, so I tend to wear gloves almost all the time. Um, I just didn't put gloves on before I started doing this, but I usually have gloves on if I'm working with anything that's not absolutely non-toxic. And you don't want to forget about bees. So you put a timer on, but you need to stand and pay attention because you can also sit the glass down and walk away and gravity will grab these little pieces. And before you know it, it will have run right off this part of your stencil into your glass. And then you have a little etched area over to the side. So we're gonna set that right there. And do this glass really quick. Make sure that you're not painting it on, that you're just using your paintbrush to lay the etching cream on. You don't want the paint strokes, the brush strokes, if you're painting to move any of your stencil. And I caught this before I put it down. This doesn't want to stay down. That might cause problems. I'm telling you, these things can be tricky. We'll see. All right, so there we go. We have our second glass. I'm going to let these sit and we'll be right back to go through the next step. All right, so here's our finished glasses. Um, the snowflake came out perfect. The armor website will tell you to only leave this cream on for a minute, but the longer you leave it on, the better you can see the image, the darker the edge seems to be. I left it on for five minutes, so that's my go-to time frame. And then here's how this guy turned out. So, pretty easy. Um, like I said, just pay attention when you're putting the stencil on, that's the one issue that I run into is the little darts off the stencil. And I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed the video, um, give me a like or subscribe to my channel. You can turn on notifications to see the new videos that I'm coming out with. And thanks for watching.